Hello, time for another video. And this video will answer many of your questions, several of your questions brought together. Because I've been getting these questions that are kind of on the same theme. Uh, they, they sort of come at it from different angles. Uh, how are you so confident? How do you not let the haters bother you? What do you what's, what's a Jeffrey Marsh day like? Um, what, what have you found the things that work for you, that support you, and how do you take care of yourself? That sort of thing. And they all sort of come down to the same ideas. But before I get to talking about what's your day like, what do you do, what's typical for you, before I get to that stuff, what I would love is to talk briefly about how you should do what works for you. So it would be no good if you took away from this video that you should be more like me. That the things I do during the day, that you should do them and try to be more like Jeffrey Marsh. If I had any goal in life, in my art, in everything that I do, it would be to help you be more you. And I'm going to share what works for me, what I've done, and you can take and leave and pick and choose the things that I talk about to build a life that is yours. To make decisions, to learn what works for you, and to enjoy your life. Not to try to have somebody else's. So every day I do yoga. Every day. Occasionally there will be a day off. But I do yoga every single day, not always in a formal class setting. I have a home practice. I've taught yoga for a long time, so I'm very clear on how the postures work and uh, how, um, how to structure a practice to get what I'm going for, what I would like out of that particular session in my own life. And the other fun thing that I do my other choice for exercise is to dance around my apartment. And you've seen me dance in heels, so sometimes it's in heels and sometimes it's just flat feet on the floorboards in my tiny little New York apartment, twirling around and having fun. And of course, living in New York, I walk a lot. But it, physical fitness is such a big Part of moving things around, keeping the energy going, uh, enjoying, you hear my neighbors? Enjoying yourself, uh, enjoying your body, moving emotional things around. So good for that. And another support that I found is eating vegan. I've been vegan for years and lower on the sugar, higher on the vegetables. I mean, this wisdom is around, but finding the way for you to eat things that taste very good, but also help you. I think that was a motorcycle I went by my window. Things that help you be healthy and support your body. And that's very, very important. I also meditate. I have a spiritual practice. Uh, I am part of a Buddhist tradition. I go on retreats. I attend meditation groups. And I meditate at home. And that is my existence. That is my life. And to bring everything around, back around full circle, that none of what I'm talking about happened like that, happened overnight. It was a series of choices over years, and it's still evolving. So whether you're 12 or whether you're 53 and watching this video, I hope that you will still be evolving the things that take care of you. It's not a mistake, it's not wrong to change your mind and say, oh, I like jazzercise instead, who knows? Who remembers jazzercise? Oh, I like this cardio instead of this, right? I like this instead of this, and sometimes you go to a gym, and sometimes you're taking yoga, and whatever. 
or sometimes you're eating, you know, carrot sticks and sometimes you're eating cut up fruit, whatever. The things that work at certain times won't work other times. But the main point is to develop something that works for you.